Hi everyone, uh, Professor Sharf with you. Uh, our subject today is about uh, artificial network for uh, uh, application, refrigeration application. Uh, it's about uh, absorption uh, vapor refrigeration cycle by R134. Uh, okay, and uh, first of all, open your MATLAB face and try to go to your destination folder from here. This is my working folder, my drive first, go to your drive, don't open it from your desktop, just put your copy your uh, main folder into your main working folder and go to your destination folder from here, this is my main working folder, uh, okay, so and this is my, uh, my model, clicking here, okay, okay, this is my folder and click here, click here and sort by name and group by type, okay and uh, you'll find your folders your data and everything is here Pro properties of uh, uh, r134a and okay and this is my uh, uh, data okay okay you, you'll find it here okay uh, the effect of uh, evaporator uh, temperature absorbers absorber temp temperature uh, condenser temperature and uh, uh, generator temperature and effective pressure of the evaporator okay and uh, we can consider these are a main input so we need to create a model uh, by using uh, this uh, data uh, so all you have to do is to uh, click on numeric matrix and remove this uh, you can click on exclude with rows okay and uh, you, you can uh, assign your main inputs such as this and click import and if you go to your uh, workspace you will find your data here and just click here and click these are our main uh, inputs okay and we have done that, be that's, uh, that before okay and these are a COP efficiency of uh, uh, rectifier uh, latent uh, vapor heat exchanger, uh, uh, um, SH heat exchanger, and uh, compression ratio. These are main uh, outputs. Click import, and you're going here, and we can rename these R by uh, outputs. Okay, and so we have inputs and outputs, so we can easily, uh, if you double clicking here you'll find your uh, matrix of inputs and outputs so we, you can use your uh, 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 network uh, artificial network in order to fit your data and create your model uh, so this is my main reason this are click here on your inputs and outputs and matrix rows I click next uh, I think validation should be uh, 15 and testing should be 10 percent and click next um, maybe five neurons is enough and click next and uh, you can use uh, your training try to train your uh, to click on performance to see your uh, fittings as, and regression if you would like to see your regression to ensure your uh, this is very very good very good uh, root mean square error is is almost one almost one 0.9992 so this is very good very good uh, uh, fitting for our main uh, model and so you can retrain if you would like and you can click next and create your uh, code matrix function or MATLAB function or similar program if, if you would like uh, to, uh, uh, to consider that anyway so enough for this and uh, let's go for our main model okay this is your main model okay this is created by neural network as i showed you uh, right now double clicking you'll find your model uh, like this uh, all you have to do is to double clicking here and you can assign some in input okay be sure that your simulation time is zero and let's go inside here you'll find the following this is our main uh, uh, block and this is our process block double clicking you can adjust your uh, code in order to calculate your uh, uh, code if you would like uh, we need the following uh, these are main uh, inputs with ranges of course 
evaporator temperature, uh, absorber temperature, and uh, uh, condenser temperature and uh, generator temperature. By controlling this, we will discover uh, a COP rectifier, uh, uh, latent heat uh, uh, heat exchanger, and compression ratio, which is um, uh, very important to us. And by assigning our load, we can discover what is a, a, a generator thermal power, evaporator thermal power, uh, evaporator and salby difference, um, a strong mass flow rate, weak mass flow rate, and uh, evaporator area, uh, which is uh, very important. Let's see how can we deal with this. Uh, let's go here for mother block and double clicking. The first thing you can um, uh, consider is to uh, assign your inputs. Let's assign some inputs and see. Uh, suppose I have my evaporator temperature is about uh, 5 degrees Celsius and absorber temperature uh, actually is the optimum value is 30 degrees Celsius and for condenser is the same optimum value is uh, 30 degrees Celsius and uh, generator temperature what is your uh, optimum uh, generator temperature I think we can consider 100 degrees Celsius you can attach um, a solar uh, evaporator to collector solar thermal power whatever and your pressure what is your evaporator pressure okay and let's go for uh, refrigerant mass flow rate what is your refrigerant man, uh, mass flow rate suppose i have uh, 0.01 uh, or 0 0.05 okay uh, mass flow rate and refrigerant uh, load what is your uh, ton refrigerant you are go you going to use is it uh, uh, one ton refrigerant two ton refrigerant it's up to you you can increase the limits if you would like and uh, coil of your evaporator coil diameter inner coil diameter and coil conductivity uh, this will uh, these parameters will, will affect on uh, uh, on your area of the evaporator uh, okay you can increase the, the range for example the uh, refrigerant rule is from zero up to 10 uh, ton refrigerant you can increase the, the range by just going here and right clicking uh, on your mother and block and uh, main block and click on edit mask and from here going to the parameters and let's emphasize a little bit and uh, for uh, all of this you can control the ranges if you and even you can change the type this is dial you can slider uh, menu edit it's up to you okay and for uh, refrigerant load this is my refrigerant load so I can increase uh, the range a little bit if you can if you'd like 100 ref ton refrigerant 1000 it's up to you but I, I would like to keep this uh, uh, from uh, uh, zero up to 10 uh, ton refrigerant okay let's hit run and see if you after our assigning our current ass assigning let's see if we can uh, get our results okay this is our main cop okay uh, 0.3 cop logic uh, rectifier efficiency uh, latent heat efficiency and uh, compression ratio by co controlling your compression ratio uh, this is our generator uh, thermal power it's about uh, 30 kilowatt of power evaporator and uh, in salby difference strong weak and uh, evaporator area okay suppose i would like to control this um, automatically not every time this is a single uh, point uh, uh, solution so suppose i would like to control this uh, uh, automatically or by assigning my data and extracting my extracting my output uh, results uh, therefore be sure to send your results to data inspector by highlighting these signals and click to uh, send to uh, uh, data inspector okay or you can uh, click here and be sure to uh, if I click here and uh, I will remove this be sure this is small square should be appeared here okay this one visualize signal for each signal you would like to uh, to visualize it in order to uh, inspect the effect on that inspector. okay uh, 
Uh, the second method is to uh, 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 use simulation time assigned to infinity, okay, infinity, and going here and double clicking, and uh, let's go inside again, and I will run my t my model into infinity zone and try to uh, change my uh, uh, my uh, parameters and see the effect. Okay, I I, I would like to see this. Uh, let's hit run and see okay I, I would like to change the generator temperature I will increase it use your uh, keyboard uh, arrows up and down or left or right as you can see I'm changing or increasing generator temperature and you would like you realize the effect on COP uh, uh, COP is increasing mode okay uh, as you can see here suppose I would I would like to decrease it again back okay and let's see if I uh, increase the load. Let's in, let's increase the load. Uh, okay, increasing the load will have a massive effect on your area and thermal power. And uh, uh, okay, and it's all the difference. Increasing the load. Okay, okay, and hit okay and stop your simulation. So uh, uh, this method is very good and essential in order to. Feel the system and to recognize which parameter um, has a massive effect or a direct effect on your outputs. Uh, let's go here, clicking or saving. Let's go here in my uh, data inspector. I would like to uh, see my results. Uh, for example, we have here four, four outputs, for example. This is my COP very varying because I try to I try to change the uh, generator temperature and then the load increasing and decreasing the load uh, efficiency of your rectifier affected uh, as well uh, LVHX uh, affected H SHX also heat exchanger is affected and this is my compression ratio and generator uh, thermal power. Okay, let's see the generator thermal power uh, also. You can add more slots if you'd like. You can add more slots. Uh, evaporator, uh, okay. Uh, let's see, yes. Uh, and solve the difference. Also uh, affected by this. You can send this data to a figure. You click here. Send to, I don't know what is your uh, MATLAB version. If, uh, anyway, you, can, you will find this easily in your... Uh, uh, in your uh, uh, version, I sent to a figure. Okay, in in my figure, you can control uh, your plots, editing your uh, outputs. As you can see here, uh, changing your uh, 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 graphics uh, type. You can click here, for example, and uh, switch to line, increase the line width. Okay, and line colors. You can uh, uh, control your X axis and Y axis as well. Okay, uh, let's see clear all of these. Okay, delete all of these. Okay, and okay. Uh, I, I would like not to use this in um, in such manner. I would like to control. I have a specific uh, range to address. Uh, therefore, I, I, I will show you one example and you can uh, do the same for the rest parameters. Okay, suppose I would like to um, uh, to address the effect of uh, uh, generator temperature. Let's see, let's say from, uh, well, show me your uh, generator temperature, okay. Generator temperature is from 80 up to 170 range, okay, high range. Okay, suppose I would like to and let's click here. I, 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 I will save this. I'm sorry. I will save this uh, for another version. Not to disturb this one. Okay. This is dynamic mode. Okay. And uh, saving. Okay. This is a new one. Save as. And clicking here on simulation. And I will change the range with respect to the effect of generator temperature variable step okay suppose I would like to address from uh, 90 degrees Celsius up to 100 and say it uh, 100, 100 uh, degrees Celsius and uh, up to uh, 150 
okay this is my uh, I would consider this uh, this is your simulation time but I'm um, trying to trade my simulink to to feel that this system is uh, depending on uh, will run depending on uh, the changing of generator temperature okay hit apply and okay so now I, I, I will create my signal here I will create my signal so let's go for generator uh, gen temperature I will remove it put it here okay and comment it so if you comment this one uh, there is no effect here there is no effect uh, if you change this there is no effect because uh, I uh, 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 committed it and I, I will create my signal clicking here uh, sources and signal builder you can create your signal by using sin signal builder okay or by uh, your uh, clock time you can use your clock time it will give you the same uh, values as uh, the simulation time uh, fields and uh, let's go for uh, for example here I will uh, drag this one okay okay for example and connect this one here and saving so the values from for the generator should be from uh, 100 up to 150 and let's go here and try to uh, examine this at zero evaporator temperature absorber temperature uh, let, let's begin from 25 condenser from 25 okay and uh, a pressure of your evaporator let's begin from make it three okay there is no effect for generator okay and mass flow rate should be at uh, 0.01 kilogram per second refrigerant load is five and I will keep uh, the rest it apply click OK and uh, let's go okay so this is our first run okay let's see okay okay it finished okay let's go here in data inspector and see okay for COP uh, okay this is our COP as you can as you realize here okay uh, rectifier efficiency okay heat exchanger efficiency uh, compression ratio and uh, and solve the difference remaining constant is strong um, okay remove okay let's go for uh, a strong and weak let's go for strong uh, what about evaporator okay remaining constant weak this is your strong and weak okay this is our main first run okay close this one suppose I would like to change my uh, parameters such as a five evaporator temperature should be five uh, 30 degrees Celsius 30 degrees Celsius for condenser and okay and uh, I will keep the pressure refrigerant mass fully it should be a point oh two okay the same uh, uh, ton refrigerant and you can study this okay let's hit run and see okay let's return back again and uh, we can we have another run this is your first run and we have here the second run cop we can compare now as you can see cop at different values of your uh, uh, evaporator and condenser and uh, uh, mass flow rate uh, rectifier efficiency okay change uh, heat exchanger efficiency uh, concentration ratio I'm sorry this is not compression concentration ratio strong mass flow rate and uh, weak mass flow rate and so on so you can draw your uh, uh, results and send it to a figure uh, suppose I, I, I will send this uh, to a figure and show you how to you can do the same for for the rest you can uh, study the effect of one parameters two parameters three parameters it's up to you okay uh, so uh, my x-axis here it is not your time my x-axis should be uh, t uh, underscore g comma uh, degree celsius your generation your, your generator temperature as you can see i can uh, 
uh, increase the thickness of your uh, lines okay up to I'm sorry up to two okay and I can compare this is your first uh, run for example first run should be in uh, black and the second one should be okay uh, for example in black also but dashed something like this so you can compare and uh, uh, you can highlight and uh, uh, your phone should be uh, times in your Roman okay okay and let's emphasize and you can use this in your uh, research activity and uh, you can also control this one I'm sorry you can control this hold it here this one should be uh, I'm showing you some ideas and uh, you have the full access to your model and you can do what you'd like okay so now we have here and sure surely you can uh, uh, control your uh, y-axis this is your COP and this is uh, rectifier efficiency and and so on and you can add here the title of your figure for example this is uh, a figure a and for related to COP and this is your figure B and related to your recti rectifier efficiency and so on uh, I'm just giving you an ideas and uh, you will uh, uh, be able to do the rest and control your uh, system and uh, uh, figure as well uh, finally I would like to thank you very much uh, about your interesting um, um, our model but finally you can control you can use your signal builder if you intended to have um, uh, the effect on uh, uh, this at once by doing this going to signal builder sources and signal builder drag this one okay and you can create your signals here for example this is my signal and my axis should be uh, from 100 uh, to 150 okay and signal I will replace this one with a custom signal uh, suppose uh, the same values one I'm sorry 100 step one to 150 and uh, at the same time we need to add values for uh, condenser temperature uh, for example condenser temperature generator if you let's control C control V here so this is my generator temperature and you can rename it as uh, TG okay and you can consider this an input and you can surely add another signal but be sure to have the same uh, the same dimension of your method for example 100 step 1 150 should be uh, 51 values okay 51 uh, uh, points suppose I have evaporator from uh, for example uh, uh, from 0 uh, step 1 up to uh, not step 1 maybe point 1 up to uh, 10 degrees Celsius let's see this one 100 no uh, I think point 0.2 for example yes point 0.2 yes point 0.2 should be uh, okay let's copy this control C okay I think this one should be uh, let's go here for signal builder and create another signal uh, for new signal custom signal and uh, we can do the same one hundred step one one hundred and fifty and from here we can put this here okay so this suppose I have this this is for evaporator so I I will rename it as TE degrees Celsius and I will index this one as number one and saving 
close this one let's return it back here so realize that I can remove this control X put it here comment and I remove the clock okay let's connect this to evaporator and connect this to a generator and let's see the effect of evaporator and generator at once let's hit run and see it may change okay okay let's go for uh, this is your third run cop here okay different okay rectifier efficiency and uh, okay weak um, strong mass flow rate okay and weak mass flow rate and so on so you can uh, um, you have many options uh, to address your uh, uh, your uh, outputs based on your uh, variation in uh, in your inputs finally thank you very much for your, for your interest in our model don't forget to like share uh, and subscribe thank you very much